I'd like to take this time and apologize for not posting these professional majestic intros. If you unsubscribed already, I just want to know, I just want to tell you that I understand. It's fine. Now, yesterday we came across this video of Angry Reaction having a full on breakdown on live on the story that we covered a week ago. If you don't know what story we're talking about, first of all, if you don't know who An Angry Reaction is, if you just clicked on this video because you missed my face, let me give you a quick recap. One year Johnson aka Angry Reaction started this channel back in 2020. The, what type of content he used to make? Well, it's wholesome kind. He uh, gives uh, energy to people. He gives confidence to people. Some girl says, oh, I am ugly. Uh, one year comes like, shut up, you're gorgeous. He tells people a lot of positive, a lot of wholesome things, but all in an angry reaction he grew to a very big fan base all over social media with over 27 million followers on tiktok alone and just almost two months ago he was accused of dv with his girlfriend they got into a fight then the police came and arrested him they had a felony on him but then he went to court and the case got discharged because it the court didn't found him guilty basically and we talked about the story and i shared my opinions about the situation and what happened what could have happened and things like that but there's a whole new view to this you see the things we said back in the back in the last video we did not have enough evidence we did not have anything we just assumed this happened this happened this happened from uh, stereotypical relationships out in the world right now. And we did not know the girlfriend's identity. Well, first of all, they have a kid together. They have a child. They're not just boyfriend, girlfriend. They're, all, they're mother and uh, father. And the girl came with some evidence showing on how one year was defending himself. These pictures are uh, disturbing to watch. But like I said in the last video, one year stopped making TikTok videos. He quit TikTok, but he does live streams only now. And he goes live almost every night. I'm assuming he's trying to clear his name because he cannot handle the hate. And what's crazy is you're in the apartment that I'm paying for right now. You have to see me. You're doing all of this internet stuff. You're talking about getting a restraining order on me. All of this started today because I was trying to talk some sense to you. I never got loud. I never got aggressive. I never got none of that today. You did. All of this started because I was trying to talk to you. We both know what I don't care about none of this internet stuff. We both know what actually goes on behind closed doors. He says he does not care about this internet stuff, but I say cap my friend. You made how many videos on YouTube and TikTok and everything because of this internet stuff? He's saying you know the truth, I know the truth. What are you going to say to me when you see me? Because apparently she went on a rampage on posting stuff online about him. And her excuse was because he kept on talking shit. And I just wanted to come out and speak out and speak my side. And not to make him make me the villain. Now, I don't know if he exposed her name, how people found out about her or anything. Because even in the first video that we made, her identity was unknown. No one knew. Maybe they found out or maybe... He, had, he was sick of it and he was like, guys, this is her page. This is my girlfriend I have a kid with. And this is why what she's done to me and she ruined my life. Maybe he said that. I, I cannot find a video anywhere. And she came forward to tell the whole internet that Wanya is not the victim. I am. Don't fall for this act that he's putting online. This is like a internet beef between mommy and daddy and the kid is just watching. Hi, everyone. Um... I did not want to have to do this, but since Wanye wants to go on live and spread a bunch of lies, um, I... First of all, before we continue the video, Wanye, how? How these guys are pulling... Have you seen Wanye's face? And you see this girl? How these guys are pulling these kind of girls? Before we continue, if you enjoy these daily yapping sessions, make sure to click that subscribe. It will be highly appreciated. But I know, like, yeah, she looks like a gem, but she was your kryptonite. She was the reason your career ended, basically. I mean, he can still pick it up again if he wants to, to be honest. He's lying. <laughs> um, if I wanted to press charges against him, I could have had him locked up for... A while. Since that is very obvious why you didn't press charges. Because if you did, who would... If you would have gone away, who would have paid for your rent? It's a tricky situation for her to be in. 
for him putting his hands on me. I have proof of him putting his hands on me multiple times. And he constantly wants to say that I put my hands on him first. There are times that I have because he screams in my face. Like, literally inches from my face. And I have to push him to get away from me. Here she comes and she speaks up. She says, yes, there are times I put my hands on her because he gets so close to my face and he screams. I do believe this situation that Wanya loses his shit. He comes to her face after I watched this video. Now, there's no, there's no audio to this video, but this is a video she screen recorded and released. And she claims that he pulled out a pew pew and threatened to come over. But from the looks of it, Wanya is an angry reaction in real life. I wonder how his phone is after all these spits. He has put his hands around my throat to choke me. He has pulled out a gun recently on his birthday over FaceTime. He pulled out a gun and said he was on his way over here with a gun. And I have proof. I have a screen recording of that. Now the pew pew situation was not real. There's no evidence of that. But other things were real when he she came with the evidence. But this whole thing choking, uh, slapping the, the woman around sounds like a normal day in the Middle East, to be honest. I hope I don't get banned for this, but this is one of the bruises she posts in her page. The other one is this as well, under her arms. Maybe he grabbed her, maybe pushed her, whatever she did. He did, but this is this was all in her TikTok video that she posted. She also said that he got angry and he smashed the TV and this was the evidence for it. But unfortunately, she deleted all of these videos. Maybe it, Wanya said, I'm going to sue you or something, but she posted this. She says, I'm done trying to get people to believe me after all the pictures of bruises, broken items and texts. I posted so many people are calling me a liar, even threatening to hurt me themselves. You all believe this man from one video that you can clearly hear Hear him hurt me in and me tell him to leave me alone. Believe what you want. I don't care. But if the threats keep coming, I will do everything to prove that I'm not lying and have you all looking dumb. I am a victim now. Leave me alone. Now, mommy and daddy fighting on the internet was probably not, not a good idea for both of them. The drama was dying out. People were not interested anymore. It was done. But after this resurfaced, it just made things worse. They should honestly just solve this off the internet. But one year tried trying so hard to make himself look innocent or maybe he is innocent but anyways he just makes things worse for him every time he goes out he goes li live he talks about the situation and just makes things worse and i'm guessing that's all he wants to do when he goes live because he's not interested in content anymore now last night he was live as well and he had a full-on mental breakdown she's showing bruises of me defending myself from her and she's making the internet think that she's showing bruises of herself of me defending myself my friend i i don't one year i don't know what kind of self-defense you are doing but you know this this is not self-defense on a woman or those kind of bruises are not self-defense slapping them punching them headlocking them i don't know giving them a full-on head these things are not self-defense now like i said some men have self-control some men see red that's why we call them the white tank toppers the wife beaters but those bruises look very bad on them because the what we suggested what we thought he did in self-defense was holding her, pushing her, telling her to calm down. These things are fine, but when there's a baby as well in the room or she, she claims that she got choked, these things are not okay. Those bruises do not come from hugs, my friend. It doesn't matter. She's a female. She can punch you, slap you. Nothing can happen to you. You should just walk off and just leave the situation. One year, we are a man. We walk off because these a pew pew self-defense, even if she hits you, nothing can happen you just walk off man you don't hit the mother of your child it doesn't matter what happened what she did or self-defense even if she's like fucking beating you the only time you're allowed to talk knock out is when she's holding a knife and coming towards you that is the only acceptable way or if she's holding a pew pew next to you you do some taekwondo kick the gun flies off and that is when you're allowed to do these things but in ramadan no touching because haram all, all the all no fighting in ramadan also no talking <laughs> bro you know this bro you're like bro i just got through all of this drama and she was on my side
She sitting there telling everybody, oh, I could have sent you to get, I could have sent you to jail if I press charges. Now, honestly, it's a very hard thing to see a man cry on camera or off, off camera. It, it hits different when a grown ass man cries. I want to say I feel bad for him, but there's a two sides of the story. I'm not taking any sides on this because we still don't know who can be. I feel like they're, they're in a toxic relationship and they're both wrong. This is all I'm going to say. This is a fight of a mommy, daddy, internet. A lot of people are going to take mommy's side. A lot of people are going to take the, the baba's side. But he should have ended the live right there. The more he goes on, the more he was going to embarrass himself. And he was going to say things which he was going to regret the next day. And you know, about this time, but you know this. You know this, bro. Everybody coming at me again, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, and why why is he breaking down why is he having a i want to say an overreaction to this whole situation is because of the hate that he's receiving and people saying oh you wife beater you woman beater now why is he like that because he used to be the most loved person on the internet literally 2020 2021 2022 was his year P thousands hundreds of thousands of positive comments on each video that he posts now he's getting all this hate he can't bear it he, he's, he has to be loved again not gonna lie i gotta give it to neon and jack duarte these guys are so hated they do not give one flying fuck i gotta respect that they don't let the hate get to them they do what they do always but yeah he's just having a mental breakdown maybe more things will come in the future but this situation definitely escalated very very fast him having a mental breakdown on uh, the internet and saying these things uh, drama all everyone's attacking me again those were self-defense bruises kind of made it worse for him but yeah that was angry reactions situation update yalla bye